Guys, it is time for a kind of a roundup of uh, chopping block favorites. I did this before. Uh, basically, since we're currently I'm in the middle of testing out products for uh, chopping block number 20, um, what I wanted to do is tell you about the products from uh, chop past chopping blocks about probably 10 through 19 that um, I still use and some I've repurchased. Um, so just kind of the best of those things that even after testing them have really become an important part of my makeup stash that I make use of uh, more often than other you know products. Uh, that I've tested out. So if that makes sense, hopefully, uh, this is just, just the best of the best chopping block wise. And I have a lot of stuff here, so I'm gonna get right into it and show it to you. This has been so amazing. The greatest thing is, is lately there have been so many good brow products out there. And I think that's really nice because I was in a brow rut. It seemed like there was a whole, there was only a couple brow products that, you know, people were talking about, people were recommending. And then all of a sudden it just kind of broke out and there are all these really great brow products. And one of my favorites that I use almost every day now um, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love this guy, so, so good. Um, I think it's a real contender for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. If you use that, this is something to try. It's at a lower uh, price point, and I just think it's fantastic. It has a spoolie on one end, and then you have the brow product. And can I read the color on here? I have it in chocolate. I think they copied that, didn't they? Uh, but yeah, it's just a really great brow pencil. I love the texture of it. For brow pencils, it's all about the texture. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. Hard, if it's hard, it's a killer. I, I can't stand hard brow pencils, and that's the mistake most companies make. But you really can draw a legitimately <laughs> real looking brow. Um, that's like the most important thing. So I really highly recommend trying this. I think a lot of people will like it. And I would say I have another brow whiz that I purchased. I have one that's open. I have another one that I got at uh, IMATS, but from here on out, I don't know if I'll be paying that price. You know, uh, I think I might stick with the NYX. Um, because I just, I really gravitate toward it every day. Um, when it comes to mascara, there's two I want to tell you about. These are already, have already been repurchased. Um, this original one I, uh, that I tested out in the chopping block, um, I dug out of my empties. It's the Maybelline Lash, ugh, Lash Sensational. This is fantastic. And out of the two, this is definitely my favorite. This is, came out later. Um, it's just a fantastic mascara. The brush, I mean, it doesn't look like it's gonna do too much, but it's really, really good. It's very, very thick. I like it better. One of my favorites is Maybelline Colossal. And this is better than Colossal to me. It's kind of slipped into the number one spot as far as my favorite drugstore mascara. And it's just really thick, volumized brows that are brows. <laughs> <laughs> lashes that I really really love it doesn't take long to build up but you can go forever uh, which I like to spend you know five minutes on each eye so it's a really really great mascara here's my backup because this is an empties this is my backup I already got it um, so that's what the packaging looks like if you're interested uh, the other mascara that I had tested out that I've used two already so I can just show you the third one um, this is L'Oreal Miss is it I never know how to say it I won't even try but I love the original and then they came out with Black Angel so I like Black Angel better uh, this is an extra black Black Angel to me is better um, and I am currently testing out the even newer one the what is it rock or whatever so I'm going to be getting to you uh, later about a review for that, but I definitely love these two mascaras. These are the favorites out of the last uh, 10 or so chopping box Because the one currently number 20. I don't know. All right. This is really cool This is makeup forever's high-definition blush and I wanted to bring this color out because yes I it is something I use quite a bit. This color is amazing, especially for this time of year It is number 515 and I believe it's called Tangerine. Now I know a lot of people aren't into, well not a lot, I won't say a lot of people, I know some people are not into cream blush, but this is a time of year when I get into cream blushes because what I like to do is use them because they tend to stay put on my cheeks that eat blush. Um, and the other thing that I do when it's super hot is I top them off with a light, you know, very similar blush color with powder. So cream blush then powder, then it doesn't move all day. Uh, tangerine is an amazing color. Uh, 
Oh my God, it's just amazing. You use this with a very light hand. It is very, very easy to blend though. So that's really, really cool. One of the really cool things about it, it isn't one of those things where you're gonna look like a clown. You can blend it uh, either with your fingers or blush, uh, excuse me, a brush, and it works really good. I got another one of these during the uh, IMATS New York, another color that's more kind of an everyday color. So really, really like that. Another drugstore favorite is uh, L'Oreal's Brow Stylist Plumper. I never know the name for this. It's like these things have such long names, some of these things. Uh, this is a brow gel mascara. I love it. Um, I had to get the transparent one because the colored one that I wanted, uh, I think it's maybe it's brown or something, was sold out. Uh, so I had to get the transparent. It's fantastic. Next time I think I will try the colored one though. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the wand for it. Really, really great. And just as a side note, I just put this up a couple hours ago on um, Instagram. Rite Aid is having 40% off L'Oreal products. I don't know how long that'll last. Uh, but yeah, just a heads up, check out that. Because a lot of people I know, I put on my Instagram post, I know a lot of people have been looking out for the palettes, those two pretty expensive L'Oreal palettes that are good. Um, and the uh, setting spray, so 40% off is a great deal, but I do love this, uh, what are they calling it? Brow Gel Mascara. Yeah, so really, really good. Keeps my brows in place, um, and it isn't really hard, because I've used brow, you know, things to set my brows, which is definitely essential in the summer, even more so. Uh, and they really, like, made my brows hard, and that's just not a, it doesn't feel great. It's just like hard... Um, Lashes, you know, mascara that makes my lashes super hard. Not a really big fan. Speaking of brows, the last brow product I have here for you. Oh, not, not no, it's not the last one. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. This is in Brunette's Do It Better. This is fantastic and super inexpensive, even more inexpensive than the NYX. And I just love this. This is like the perfect consistency. I just hope people can find it. The name makes it pretty unique. Brunettes do it better, but it comes in a couple colors. Perfect consistency. Um, has a spoolie on one end. I just love the price point and the value you get and the quality. This is creamier than the NYX though. So if you want something a little more like the Anastasia, I would say go for the NYX. Those two are more alike, but this is a bit creamier, which can give you groucho brows, but with a light hand and, you know, a bit of a learning curve, it'll be fine. Um, this is one of my favorite nail products that, you know, I tried out from the chopping block. I think this is a really great, you know, all of a sudden they came out with a whole bunch of different kinds of nail systems. Um, this is the one that did the best and the one that I still use. I got a couple other colors, but this is the one that I used originally. It's Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel, and this color is Red Eye. And here's the top coat. Now, this worked for me because not only are the colors beautiful, oh my gosh, it's like a gopher. Wow, it's a gopher running around. I'm glad Max didn't see that. Oh my god. Um, anyway, <laughs> the. Um, thing that makes this so cool is not only did they make beautiful colors, now you don't need any lights with this system either. So you just paint with this, you know, you paint, you know, one or two coats and then you go in with the top coat, kind of like the regular thing. But it stays so many days. I'm going to put the post down below because I got a ridiculous amount of wear out of this. And I think I posted, I have pictures of like, you know, 14 days later or something like that crazy. I forget how many days later, but I'll put that below in the description so you can check it out and see how my nails looked after uh, a crazy amount of time. Um, this is the first time that the, I think this is unique and the best that I've tried so far because this is the first time out of all the other systems that I tried. I tried one from L'Oreal, one from Revlon. This top coat is fantastic. That's where the others were really missing out because the top coat wasn't as good as traditional top coats that you and I use when we paint our nails. Such a, you know, fast drying, shiny, stays great for days. That's what this was. This was a fantastic top coat and that made the difference. So yeah. The last brow product is from Anastasia and this pretty much changed my life. I've had to step away from it a little bit, but I always go back and this is just a game changer, I think, for your brows. It's the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Fantastic. I have that in chocolate as well. 
and it's well used and it's just fantastic with the right brush oh my gosh i have a mac brush and i have another brush brow brush i don't i when i say the right brush everybody makes the right brush. you know you don't need anything too specific it's not like there's only one or two brushes that i have for brows that work with this um you can use sometimes i use brushes that are for eyeshadow uh <laughs> you know when you're in a pinch and all your brushes are dirty but this is just really great when it comes to setting those brows. The color is perfect. Chocolate is the perfect color for me. See how it's chocolate and NYX too. That made it really easy. That makes the transition very easy. Very smart NYX. I don't know if that's legal, but it's very smart. Um, but the color is perfect. You can do your brows in seconds. Quick, easy, wonderful now nyx has a brow product as well and i tested that out and i like it i like it a lot it's a great alternative i think rather than spending anastasia money money but the consistency is different than the anastasia dip brow and i like that a little better because it's a little bit of a moussier kind of a consistency and i like that a little tiny bit better than uh the thicker more you know it's just a thicker consistency than NYX. So not that it's bad, it's just a different consistency and I prefer the Anastasia. And that little pot will last forever. If this wasn't something that lasted forever, I'd probably just stick with the NYX um, because you know the price between Anastasia and NYX is just huge. This powder that I tried got to be one of my favorite powders. Um, I have only like a couple favorite you know, pressed powders that I use. This one really surprised me because it's it's really perfect. And it's at the drugstore. It's Maybelline's Dream Wonder. This is a great powder. I use it in 95 coconut. That's my color in the foundation too, coconut. I think it's 355 in the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless one. Yeah, this is good powder. Um, it is just really, really light and fluffy and... <laughs> light and fluffy and it just really gives it really it does it keeps me matte and it just looks like skin or you know doesn't look crazy um and it has a little powder puff in there i really rarely use this i like to use this with a you know a brush a uh you know a really nice big powder brush it's great for setting your makeup that's the thing that is this is really really nice for and i keep this on my vanity and I do love to set it, and especially now, when it's warmer, spring, summer, I usually set my T-zone uh, before I head on out, and that's kind of what I do. Um, I use the, the NARS crystal. That's another thing that I tested even before, like, chopping block number 11. So I really love the NARS crystal translucent powder. Um, but if you're not into that, if you don't want that kind of thing or want, don't want to play NARS, pay NARS prices, that's a great option at the drugstore. One of my other favorites is the Revlon uh, Nearly Naked Powder, that pressed powder. Fantastic. Um, this was sent to me. This is the only thing here that was sent to me that made the cut. Um, this is the Clarins Instant Concealer. I love this stuff. Uh, I have it in number four. Uh, I'll link the blog post for it because I have that below if you want more information. Um, this is really instant concealer. Um, when I'm going just to Walmart or something like that, I'm one of those people going to Walmart, I'm not going to do the full face like this, uh, but I will put on a little mascara and I'll put something, you know, some concealer under my eyes and wear a little lip gloss, something like that. Uh, so this is a really good name, instant concealer, and it just works so well, doesn't crease on me. There's a swatch of it, and again, I'm in the shade four. That's the deepest shade, so there are only four shades. Uh, but I was really impressed with this because I don't have many Clarence products, but this is a really good one that I would definitely purchase again because it's a great kind of luxury priced day-to-day -day concealer. Uh, this really wowed me, and I was so irritated because I didn't want to like these. These are NARS Audacious Lipsticks, and um, I tested out one for the chopping block. It's a color called Fanny, and it's gorgeous. <sighs> I was like, I said then in that video, I think, in the video review, I'm not getting any more. Um, these are great, but it's just too expensive for these. That's what I said. Then Christmas came, deals came, the NARS people sent a 20% off coupon, and then something else happened somewhere else, and now I have like a total of like, what, it, like nine of these? Yeah. This is my favorite color though. Fanny was the one I reviewed in the chopping block and that's a gorgeous color, it's deeper. 
Uh, this is my number one favorite. It's called Anna, and I wanted to show you this one just in case. Um, you're my skin tone. I'm NC50 and MAC for reference. Or lighter. This kind of works for everybody, I think. I've seen very fair people wear, wear this, and it looks amazing. Again, it's the shade Anna, and I'll swatch it for you. Gorgeous. This is the one I wear the most. I wear Lana, too. Lana is a mixture between red and orange. Beautiful for this time of year. But Anna, Anna's special. And so that's it right there on the top swatch. It's just a beautiful, let me show you the two. It's just a beautiful pink. And you can see if you were fair, this would just really be a beautiful pop of color. And on me, really, really pretty. Again, a lot of skin tones this is good for. Another lipstick that I've gone crazy, a whole brand I've gone crazy for is Bite Beauty. Um, and one of the things I tested out pretty early, in, in, I think it's the 11th chopping blood or something like that. Um, this is the uh, Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick. This is one of the two-sided ones, which I think are awesome. Um, I think this might be the one that I reviewed because these two colors are cool. And they sell, sold this separately for like $12 or something like this on, on uh, the Sephora website. I don't know if it's still up there. There were like two different options. This was the colorful one. Uh, so this is the color Violet. And these are just made with goodness. You know, they're, you, if you read the description, it's like, it's like, it's like good lipstick, you know, made with clean ingredients, really. And this other shade is Palomino. I think I wear Palomino more. Yeah, Palomino. So there it is right there, those two, top two swatches. So we've got Violet and then Palomino. And these just feel really, really good on the lips, just like the NARS Audacious lipstick. I think they feel, NARS Audacious lipsticks, I think I like, the thing I like about them is that they look shiny enough, but they're not super duper shiny. And they say, hey, are you about to drink my water? She's about to drink my water. Penny Lope, get your own water. I got water for you, girl. You go get it. Anyway, these feel really, really smooth on the lips. They're a bit shinier than the NARS Audacious colors, but um, they feel really, really great on the lips. And it's touching up is minimal, especially with the NARS as well. Now, Max, now you want to get my water? What's up with this? You all, you all both have your own water. This is ridiculous. Um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is something from one of the more recent chopping blocks, and I just recommend this to a lot of people, and I wanted to tell you about it. I told you in my monthly favorites that I can't stop using the uh, Sleek Bronzer. That's my like number one favorite, but this is a very close second and I just think it's such a great, and I love it because you can use it to set under your eyes as well as doing contouring. And it's just a really nice palette from NYX. It is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and it's special. I think it's really special. Um, these are replaceable here and I just think it's nice because it has a decent range of colors uh, for bronzing. Um, I love this color right here because this is great for setting under your eyes and I just think this is a really well thought out palette and really well put together and it's just a really good price point as well. Um, it's in the, like $24 around there so maybe not a great price point because it is we're talking you know NYX I think of almost as it's as a drugstore really. Uh, I wish it was a little I feel like it should be you know 15 <laughs> you know something like that I think that's our, I, th I really have a problem with drugstore things being over $20 I just do uh, but it is a really really great tool and good for somebody I think starting out and just getting starting to get familiar because I think when you're starting out this is nice because you have a lot of different options here you haven't spent a ton of money and um, they look really good <laughs> so I think that's really you know kind of what everybody's looking for right uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching the Chopping Block series. I hope this was helpful. I wanted to show you the things that really have, you know, been uh, become a staples in my, you know, makeup stash as time has gone on. Because you can test a lot of things and think, oh, this is nice and everything like that. But when it, it, it's different when it really becomes, hey, where is this? Where, you know, I look for it, I use it, I'm getting, you know, additional ones. Um, <laughs> So, you know, that's really, I think, what is the old saying? The proof is in the pudding when you're rebuying things and when you're thinking, you know what, if I ever ran out of this, 
I'd get another one. I'd buy another one without delay. So, and you know, you're buying additional colors, that kind of a thing. Um, this is so good. Uh, I will put that link below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.